If you're a forced induction car guy who's looking to use methanol, they tell you a 50-50 mix is safest. It doesn't burn. The question is, does it? Does it burn at 49 and 51? And what do they mean by 50-50? Volume or mass? Well, we're gonna find out. A lot of people argue that using straight meth is often the best way, at least the way to most power, and it probably is. I've seen enough dyno tests where that turned out to be the case, and I have no reason to disbelieve any of them. That said, the methanol injection companies, like for example, AEM, they tell you to use a 50-50 mix. And the same with the other brands like Devil's Own and Snow and the others. And they usually do it for safety reasons because methanol, of course, burns blue. And if you've been following the electric turbo progress, well, we've had plenty of fire and especially like right by the compressor. So I want to play it safe. I don't want to burn the car down. We've already come close to doing that in my house once or twice or a few times. One time it exploded on the road. Another time it exploded in the garage. You know, it just explosions, right? And if the methanol is pure, it's going to add literally fuel to the fire. So the big question is, once again, do they mean 50% methanol by volume or by weight? Well, I happen to have a one milliliter or one cc syringe here. We have our big Clive explosion proof dish. We have some pure methanol and we have some high quality H2O. We're gonna mix them first in a 50-50 by volume. That will be with the syringe mix and we'll see how they burn. Okay, that's pretty much exactly one milliliter of water. One milliliter of methanol. Now methanol likes water. It mixes very easily. So it's not gonna take much to get a good mix. You wanna place bets if this is gonna burn? Let's find out. It's gonna get a little dark. Oh, that is definitely burning. I'm gonna obviously have to crank up the gain for you to see that, but it's definitely burning, no question about it. I don't want it to get too hot, but yeah. So I'm gonna blow it out. All right. 50-50 by volume burns quite nicely too. So I'm just gonna dump this in here. All right, dry it out, empty. Water has a mass constant of one and everything else is measured against that. So methanol's mass constant is 0.8, meaning it weighs about 792 kilograms per cubic meter and water weighs 997 kilograms per cubic meter. There are some environmental variables that can change that a little bit. So let's call water one and methanol 0.8. So to get the same mass, that means, let's go to the super cool vintage calculator. So to get to the same mass, we would take one divided by 0.8. That's about 1.25 to one. Since water is more dense than methanol in order to match mass, we need 1.25 milliliters of methanol to every milliliter of high quality H2O. So let's get some water in here. Okay, that's one milliliter of water. Now we need 1.25 milliliters of methanol. That's one. 0.25. Make sure it's a little bit much. Okay. 0.25. 1.25 to one or 50-50 by mass. Let's mix it up. Place your bets. Is it going to burn? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. That burns nicely. Okay, so 50-50 by volume, 50-50 by mass, both burn. They are not actually 
that safe. I mean, that lit pretty darn easily. Let me wipe this thing out. That's what I'm doing. So the question then becomes, at what ratio is it safe? So let's try, I don't know. Of course, we'll start with one of, say it with me, high quality H2O. One milliliter or one cc. Let's try 0.9 of the methanol. Okay. So this is less than 50%. This is one milliliter, one cc of water, 0.9 milliliters of methanol. Does it burn? Place your bets. Yes, it does. It still burns. Wow. I actually didn't expect that. Well, let's try 1 to 0.8. Once again, 1 milliliter of high quality H2O. To point eight milliliters of methanol. I have to say, I'm kind of surprised the last mixture burned. I don't know. Is this one going to burn? Place your bets. <laughs> that still freaking burns. That's kind of frightening is what that is. <laughs> All right. Instead of dumping it, I just absorbed it. Wow, towel's hot. I let that burn for a while. Okay. Let's try one, 2.7. There's one. Two point seven. Let's give it a good mixing. Is this going to burn? Let's find out. Well, yeah, but it took two tries. Okay, that's that's the least flammable so far. Well. Wow. One to point six. I think this one is not going to burn. And I hope so because the markings are starting to wear off the syringe. Okay, once again, one, two point six. Let's mix it up. No, I can't get it to burn. So the question is then, what does that mean in terms of percentages by volume? Because let's be honest, it's a lot easier to mix it out by volume than it is by weight. So it's 0.7 divided by 1.7. So that's 41%. And then obviously if it was one divided by 1.7, it would be the opposite. It'd be 59%. So 41 to 59% still actually does burn under some circumstances. However, if we do the same, but by one to 0 0.6, you take 0 0.6 divided by 1.6 and you get, let's call it 38%. So if your mix is 38% methanol to 62% water, well, then you're golden. That may be why that really, really 
cold rated windshield washer fluid is only 30 percent maybe because they're trying to play it safe but if you actually want to avoid the possibility of fire that's how far you actually have to go so this 50 50 mix now i know that you know the shipping constraints and all that other stuff you know they define flammability under a different set of conditions and this is far from scientific this just gives us a, a pretty good ballpark of what mix you can actually use so once again if you want to be totally safe stick to 31 or 32 percent methanol no more and if you want to be kind of safe 42 percent but if you're doing half and half it'll burn i mean that that's we we proved that it will burn so thanks for watching this was a really fun experiment with some high quality h2o you know, give me a thumbs up subscribe and you know the car is going to be coming back together pretty soon here i'm just waiting on one little piecey part to show up and it'll be here soon i'll catch you all in the next one and i want to know if this mess burns it's like the contents of a spittoon are they flammable? I'm saying there's, yeah, this is going to burn. And that's an awful lot. This may be a dumb idea. Let's find out. Well, isn't that interesting? I can't light it.